What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna finish up our blog user authentication with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna finish up our user authentication stuff. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, mentioned yesterday, check this out. I don't know if you've seen this or not. Huge gash on my forehead. I was out in my backyard a couple days ago, turned and walked right into a tree branch. So it didn't hurt at all, but I've got this big ugly gash on the top of my head, it looks horrible. So I'm sorry about that, but it's just gonna be uh, kind of goofy looking for the next week or so, and eh, we're just gonna push through it. So in the last video, we set up our user authentication for our blog. So we can log in and that's pretty much it, right? So once we do that, it redirects back to the homepage, but nothing has really changed. Now we need a log out button. Uh, we can also register, but you can see we've already logged in, so we don't really need to register. So we need to do some work here. We need to tweak some things and uh, finish up this user authentication thing because we are actually logged in, but our blog doesn't know that. It doesn't. It's not really reflecting that in any way. And also, even if we're logged out, we can still edit or post, and we need to change that as well. So first things first, let's create a log out button. So let's head back over to our code, and we want our base.html file in our the blog templates directory. And I'm just going to copy the login button. And instead of login, we're just going to reference log out. Now, we don't have to create an actual URL for this in our urls.py file or anything like that, because the Django user authentication system already handles that. And if you remember back when we set that all up in the last video, in our, let's see, not our settings.py file, our original urls.py file, we set up these Django contrib auth URLs. Logout is one of those URLs. So Django will take care of all of this for us. And uh, that's pretty cool. So and also remember in the last video in our settings.py file, we set up our logout redirection. So whenever we log out, it will redirect to the home page. So that's all set up and ready to go. So now if we come back here and hit reload, oh, it says log in. We have to change the code. So go back to our base.html and uh, yeah, let's try here, log out. Okay, so save that. Now reload. Boom, it says log out. Okay, so it looks like it's logging us in and out. Right, if we go to one of these posts, and then we click log out, at least it redirects us to the home page. But if we click log out now, uh, again, nothing happens. So that's that's kind of weird. So now we need to have our blog reflect the fact that we're logged in or logged out. So how do we do that? Well, the Django authentication system comes with this nice little uh, sort of helper thing called is authenticated. It's a little function that will check to see if a user is authenticated or by authenticated, we mean logged in. So if they're logged in, we can do certain things. If they're not, we'll do other things. So let's head to our base.html and let's set this up in our nav bar. So I'm just going to create some uh, a little Django tag here. So let's create an if statement. So let's say if user dot is underscore authenticated authenticated, right? So if they're authenticated, do something else, do something else. And then finally, anytime we create a Django tag like this uh, embedded Python Jinja type thing, we need to end our if statement. Okay, so here we can see our basic logic. So if the user is authenticated, we want them to be able to add a post. So let's just copy this into this block here. All right. And what else do we want them to be able to do if they're logged in? Well, we want them to be able to log out. So let's copy our logout link. And we could just paste that tab this over to make it look nicer. And what else? Well, that's basically it. If they're not logged in, we want them to be able to register and log in. So let's copy these two. And let's put them inside of our else block here. All right, and I'm just gonna tab a bit. There we go. Okay, so let's save this and head back to the site and see what that looked like. So let's hit reload. 
and we see register and log in. So we're obviously not logged in right now. So we could log in. And if we do, click the login button, boom, these links up here change. Now we can add a post or we can log out. We can't log in or register because we're already logged in, so we don't need to. So that is very cool. And that's really all there is to it. Now we need to do that same exact thing a bunch of other places in our blog. For instance, right here. We don't want these edit or delete buttons. See if I log out, I'm not logged in right now. But these edit and delete buttons are still there. Well, we don't want those edit or delete buttons to show up when we're not logged in. So let's do the same exact thing we just did, but right there. So let's grab, I'm just gonna copy this line right here. This is authenticated. And this is what we're gonna use anytime we wanna make a change based on whether or not we're logged into the blog. So let's head over to our templates directory and our home.html and let's find the edit and update. And here they are, it looks like. So edit and delete. And we don't even need a, a, an else statement here. We can just use an if statement. So just be sure to close it. So end if, save this, head back over here. Now I'm going to open this in a new page or in a new browser window, and I'll show you why in just a second. But now we can hit reload and boom, they disappeared. Now this, this dash is still there, so we probably wanna get rid of that. So we can come here and let's see, there's the dash right there. Let's just put that inside of here, right? Save this, reload, okay, now that's gone. And if we log in, we can see, boom, they're back and that's cool. Now, here's something kind of interesting though. And this is kind of, this is important. If we click the edit button and we go to this page, we can edit stuff and that's fine. But what if we're not logged in? So let's log out. Now those links disappear and that's fine. But what if you just knew the URL for the edit page? For instance, this page right here. Well, if I hit reload, look, you can see I'm logged, I'm not logged in because it's giving me the login link, but it still gives me the ability to post stuff. Right, so that's no good, we don't want that. We need to change this page to not show up at all unless the person is logged in. So this is, well, let's just look at our code here. So uh, that will be in our templates slash, let's see, update post, right? So this is that update post page. We can just wrap all of this if we want in a user authentication tag. So I'm gonna tab this over and let's give this one an else, an else statement. So let's go else, you, are not allowed here and you know it <laughs> right so let's end end our if statement okay so now let's head back and let's hit reload and it says you're not allowed here you are not allowed here let's change this to your you're not allowed here that's better <laughs> so you're not allowed here and you know it right so if we log in and now try to edit a page, now it does show up. So that is important. And we need to do that also for our add post page. Because if we log out, okay, if we log out here and now come back to our add post page and hit reload, even though we're logged out, we can still make a post. So we need to do the same thing there. So let's head back over to our code and that's gonna be in the add post page. So I'm just gonna grab that, pop that in there. And I'm gonna go back to our update post. I'm just gonna copy this stuff. Bring that back, boom. So let's save that, head back, hit reload. You're not allowed here and you know it. <laughs> but if we log in and then we try to add a post, boom, it shows up again. So, okay, so that looks good. The delete page, we probably wanna do that for that as well. So let's head back to the delete page and that is delete post.html. And we can paste in that stuff there. And I'm just gonna copy this guy. Let me put that back. And you don't have to tab this stuff over. I just do it because it looks nicer. All right, so let's save that and hit back and reload. Now if we log out, but then go back to this page and hit reload. You're not allowed here and you know it. But if we come back here and log in and then click this, it, it works. Okay, so that works. The edit page works. What else do we have? Let's go to the actual blog page itself. Oh, we've got these two things there. 
as well. So we need to do it on that page as well. So one more time back into the breach and let's head to our article detail page. And let's look through here. We want this edit and we want this delete thing to only show up if a user is logged in. So let's do that. Tab that over and always end our if. And again, we've got this little dash here. So I'm going to take that out of there and put it in there. Okay, so save that and come back. Hit reload. Now if we log out, boom, those links disappear and we're good to go. So that's all there is to it. Pretty simple. Uh, just takes a, you know, a little bit of copying and pasting with that is authenticated tag. And uh, that's all there is to it. So very cool. Now, one more thing I want to show you before we go, and we're going to need to work on formatting stuff in a minute here. This is just a big long block of text and we want to be able to break this up and we'll get into that later. But this is the body of this blog post, right? And this is my latest blog post. If we go back, we see here's that stuff right here. But instead of showing all of it, it's just showing a snippet. And how did I do that? I'll show you real quick. I just pasted in a tag. If we go back to our home page code, so let's go to home.html and we come down here. So this is where we're outputting all that stuff. And let's see, post title, first name, last name, post date, edit, delete, and then post body. I just added this little bit of code to the end of it. This upright bar, which is just this thing right here on the keyboard, and then slice and then colon. And then we want to slice everything up to the 200th character. So what that does is it only puts 200 characters right here. If I put, for instance, uh, 500 characters, boom, see now there's a whole bunch of stuff. If we don't put anything at all, if I just take this off, it's gonna output the entire blog post, right? And we don't really want that, see? <laughs> like, that's no good. So uh, it's a little handy little uh, Django, I don't know if it's a, utility or a helper or a little thing you can do. And that's pretty cool. So uh, just a little tip I wanted to show you really quickly. So let's change this back to 200, save this, come back here, reload, and that looks better. So all right, we are coming right along. We have user authentication knocked out. It works completely. Pretty simple. You know, it took two videos, but we probably could have squished that all into one video, one big video, but uh, this one's getting a little bit long. So two videos, not very bad for creating a complete user authentication system that allows a person to register, sign in, sign out, make blog posts, not make blog posts based on whether they're logged in or not, edit posts, delete posts based on whether they're logged in or not, show entire pages based on whether they're logged in or not. Very cool and uh, very easy to do. So I think in the next bit of videos, we're gonna work on editing some of this stuff. You see, this is just a big block of code and maybe we wanna use HTML embedded in there or, or whatever. Uh, so we'll start to look at that, I think, in the next video. But uh, yeah, we are moving right along and uh, pretty easy so far, I think, and a lot of fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So they pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF versions of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and we'll see you in the next video.